short on time, I'll do this myself or I'll also do it with athletes because especially like at the high school level, I, they love to finish with an arm pump. So every day I'll kind of show them, all right, day one, they learn hammer curls. Day two, believe it or not, you're teaching kids how to do a good barbell curl. Then as they get more experience, it's a reverse curl. Then it's twisting curl. Then it's incline dumbbell curls. Then they get excited with this one. It's called running the rack. So I learned it through Arnold's um, encyclopedia. Do you know this one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he would speak about doing it for shoulders, but he would start with a lightweight and do like military presses or side raises for three to five reps. Then he'd keep going up until he couldn't move his arms. Then he'd go down the rack and you could apply that to biceps. Um, I've done it with, uh, it was a uh, old book called Gurner the Mighty with kettlebell like uh, snatch, clean and press. He went up the chain, down the chain. So we're gonna do a bicep density workout. So you get like some endurance, you build size with it. And uh, if you're short on time and you want the pump, this would be the way to go. So we're gonna start with a 90 degree carry with a band through the kettlebell. You're also gonna feel it in your abs. So you wanna grab it out and we're gonna carry it. So we're doing isometric. Make sure your arms are at 90 and your posture is up. And feel our shoulders got rocked on this too. And then we take it back and then we're gonna curl them. All right, so you carry, now you curl. So try not to slouch, shoulders in good position. And now you get this kind of like oscillation of the weight and it's hard. Oh, these are difficult. And your hands could go wherever you naturally want. One more. So you could supinate them, you could hammer curl them. And uh, you could even do one in each hand if you okay. go with lighter kettlebells. Yeah, it's so <laughs> now what we'll do is we are warmed up. You don't need to start going light. We're gonna start heavy and go down the rack. So running the rack is light, heavy, back to light. We're gonna start up and just do descending sets. Right. So what are you gonna start with? Who's going first? I'll start like 50, 55. Okay, uh, let's go up there. there. Start you there. And so three to five reps, and then you drop down and go to the next one. So I'll go, I'll start at 45. Just doing uh, bicep curls? Yeah, you could hammer, you could twist them, whatever you want. No rules. Yeah. I like to hammer curl up to the shoulder. Yeah. Okay, and what did you just do? 55, so now you go to 45, right here. Got them, I'll go to the 35s. So taking 10 pound uh, drops. And also you go different angles. You could go cross body. Yeah, I could twist. Same time. So now you got 35s there. I'll go to, you know what I'm gonna do instead of dumbbell 25s? I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna take uh, kettlebell 26s. Different, uh, definitely a lot of like on your wrist. Oh yeah. And believe it or not, like if you're training athletes, you know, how many kids do you hear, you know, I sprained my wrist, I sprained yeah, my ankle. Yeah. It's because I think they're training uh, it's too perfect. It doesn't challenge all those little muscles, right? All the, yeah. All the little in between stuff, like you're saying. Those in between muscles. Ooh, I like these handles. Yeah, Ivanko's these, yeah, baby. these are nice. Okay, sponsored by Ivanko today. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. So different angles. You got straight up. You obviously got supinating. You've got cross body, same time, cross body, one arm at a time. And then you can change the tempo. We could go slow, we can go fast. This is, can conjugate. Up. This is some conjugate training 100%. right now. So now check this out. I'm mixing it up. That was heavier 
These two thick dumbbells are different. So I'm gonna curl them at the same time and then I'll switch them. So this one's like close to 45. This one's probably 35. So, uh, 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 and then I'll switch them. Feeling the pump. Feel the pump. I did one more for the weaker arm. To punish it. You know what, like, uh, when I was uh, a middle school kid, used to come out of the school and across the street were the residential homes, and uh, used to see, like, certain things as a kid. A lot of guys worked on cars in their garage, and uh, you'd see a lot of guys had weights in their garage. Well, this house had three barbell sets in front of the house. But it was like a piece of iron with cement. Oh, so wow. it was like big, small. <laughs> and I would see a guy outside with jeans, work boots, flannel, gloves, doing deadlifts as a kid. I was 11, 12, and that just left an impression on me uh -huh. of like, you don't need this gym, of course, there's some fancy stuff, but as I said earlier, like we don't want too fancy. So I think it spoils mm -hmm. people. And then, you know, oh, that's, I don't like that song, or I don't like this barbell. And uh, I usually don't use dumbbells. I only train with kettlebells. And so what about just, um, you know, Nooch, my, my football coach here, we live here. When the Hurricane Sandy hit, uh, we had no power for two weeks. So we had the generator in the back of the house. And my wife was hearing stories of like people stealing the generators. So it was like, okay, the generator goes on at midnight to heat up the house. My kids were babies. So I would like wake up after two hours and you know, no warm up and like hold that thing into the backyard, turn it on for a bit. Then my alarm would go off like before the sun would come up because people were stealing stuff. So she had me and I just remember carrying that thing, saying to myself, you know, I, I'm, my body's prepared for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time I didn't have this gym, it was before the hurricane or at the time of the hurricane, but in my garage, I left a barbell loaded at 275 or 325. And a couple times a day, I would hit a few deadlifts yeah, cold. And uh, it was good to be strong, cold, but it was like good mental, I yeah, called it like yeah. iron therapy. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so I just remember that, like, what did I, what do you need your body prepared for? You actually never know. Even when you're done with sports, people get away from training kind of like this athletic style. So they're like, well, I'm not gonna play football again, so I don't need to farm or walk or sprint mm -hmm. hills. But it is important to do that oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's right here. That's kind of like back with, with my journey. It's like I said, to come a full circle. I got in that mindset for a little bit. I want to get super strong. And then I started coaching uh, high school across. And my mind was like, hell yeah, you can go out and play with these kids. My body on the other hand <laughs> said, hell no. So, yeah. so, you know, this is me kind of getting back after it, throwing this type of training in there. Uh, preparing for the unknown and just being resilient, you know, building that foundation. Uh, and a lot of this is stuff, you know, that I, I've learned from him and it's cool to be here, right? Like literally with the mastermind who, who I, I learned all this stuff from. So, yeah, but look, I, I also, you know, I couldn't get to meet the guys that created it. You know, now like those men have, have passed away. Um, like Dr. Ken Leisner training NFL guys out of his garage. You, they, you'd see them squatting with snow coming down. You, uh, you know, I have video footage of them. He's like, you know, we would do a sled push. Well, he's down, going down the road. He's got a harness and those old like train trolleys. That's what they're pulling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he would make weights from the manhole covers Crazy. or uh, steel beams. They'd weld handles. And so, uh, We've done some videos on that for the people watching. It's called Iron Roots, where I revisit old books and magazines, stuff from over a hundred years ago that influences the way I train now. So I make it real clear that I think sometimes you gotta be lucky to come across the right people mm -hmm. 
at the right time. When I was younger, everything was bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. I wish I came across this to help me when I wrestled, you yeah, know? Yeah. It would have been a, ch a game changer. But well, we're doing it now. Yes, sir. That's what matters. Good. She's just in the shush, she's not with the cameras. Never asking questions, never giving answers.